Now to those new details tonight about the connection between a Sayreville councilwoman and the man accused of killing her. Rashid Ali Bynum appearing in court in Virginia today, charged with murdering Eunice Dwanfor. A friend saying tonight Dwanfor was a church mentor of sorts to Mr. Biden, counseling him, it turns out, for several years. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson live in Newark tonight, where church members are shocked, they say, about who's been arrested. AJ. Yeah, we're standing outside of the Champions Royal Assembly. This is where the councilwoman went to church, but she apparently had her own missionary service, and they traveled down to Virginia on many occasions, and that's where she met the man who is now suspected of being her killer. The suspect had a first court hearing this morning in Chesapeake, Virginia. Rashid Ali Bynum is now being held for the murder of Councilwoman Eunice Junfor after being arrested without incident at his home in Portsmouth, Virginia yesterday morning. We now know the councilwoman had traveled down there in her role as a pastor on missionary trips. Her Sayreville council colleague and fellow pastor says June 4 had been counseling Bynum and her work as a pastor helped him get on the right track. Stopping by you know, for Bible studies um, fairly consistently as well. Um, always presented himself as very calm. Uh, uh, quiet, reserved. June 4 convinced Bynum to spend more time in New Jersey and his family agreed. But the spiritual guidance ended in 2018 and no one knows if the councilwoman and her suspected killer stayed in touch. I just remember him just being in services and, and you know, um, always saying that, you know, he was blessed with what he was listening to, what he was learning and, uh, you know, and that you know he wanted to apply it into his personal life into the different this afternoon i spoke to a cousin of the suspect who told me the family knew that bynum had been getting spiritual guidance from missionaries from new jersey he adds that bynum had psychological issues and the family thought the church would help him get on the right track they can't believe that he is now a suspect in a murder her fellow pastor says june 4 gave a heart to anyone who needed help anyone who really interacted with her um, you know, whether it's you know, in, in the church service or public service, they think she was just known to be very passionate, very, very sacrificial. And I, I would say that that was her um, relationship even towards a, a, a Mr. Bynum as well. And that family member of Bynum that we talked to did call me back this afternoon. He wanted to express his condolence to the June 4 family for what's taking place. And once again, he says he certainly does not understand why his cousin would be involved in this incident. Bynum was in court this morning, as we already said. He will be back in court again on Friday, and then he will have an extradition hearing. That'll take place at the end of June. At that point, we expect he'll be back here in the state of New Jersey to face the murder and gun possession charges. That is the latest live from Newark, New Jersey. Anthony Johnson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Still some questions to be answered. Thank you very much, Anthony. On